Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't even know how many months it's been since I last made a video, but a lot has changed. I got a haircut. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a haircut. My parents visited. We visited Florida, obviously, for the holidays. So it was really hectic. As you can see, we're in a new location. The furniture is not moved in yet. We're still working through a little bit of the kinks here and there. So today, I thought it would be fun to do like, join me on a cozy, relaxing, bookish day because I really want to go have some retail therapy and buy a bunch of books that I do not necessarily need because I have a bunch of books already. It is currently nine on the dot. So we are going to go get some breakfast and then we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and I'm going to shop to my heart's content. I don't know what books I'm gonna get because I haven't really been keeping up with what books I should be getting or like wanting to try. I've already pre-ordered the ones that are coming out in the months that I have been absent. So I've already have those books being shipped to me or already on hand. So I don't really know, but I think that's the exciting part. Other than that, I think we may go to a cafe afterwards, but yeah, it's just gonna be a relaxing a little chill day, a little chill winter day. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's nice to be back. It feels a little bit weird to be talking to my camera again, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Another thing I'm so excited about, once we get the furniture in here, I'm so, so excited to go on my like little journey of building and putting together my office and library room. I'm so excited. I already have a vision in my head and I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> The room is really bright, 
but it's really cloudy and rainy today so i don't have any natural lighting i'm sorry if it's a little dark i literally can't tell it's been hours since we last spoken. I think the last clip you saw is eating a like prosciutto mozzarella sandwich and that delicious. It was a very dangerous day to go to Barnes & Noble because they had their famous buy one get one 50% off. And on top of that, premium members also got double the stamps. And if you really, like, if you did the girl math for it, it, like, one, I'm getting a discount on the books that I'm buying, but then I'm also making money back because of the double the stamps. Like, I'm making extra money back. So, I went a little bit crazy. That was the whole point of today, right? Like, kind of getting back into it, getting excited about books again, getting out of my reading slump. I think you did a really good job. I got really excited looking at the books. I got really happy buying the books. So I think that's all that really matters. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. As you can see, I'm sitting on the floor currently. There are books behind me. So right now I'm in my future reading library office. I don't have my shelves just yet. So the books that I do have are on the floor. They're on the floor currently and there's a lot of them. They're just kind of lined up behind me. <laughs> Came home, ate that stuff, and then I told Philip, I'm going to go lay down for a little bit. I was really full and I just wanted to lay down for a little. And he was like, don't lay down. You're gonna fall asleep and then you're not gonna be able to sleep at a reasonable time tonight. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna fall asleep. Watch me not fall asleep. What did I do? Oh yeah, I fell asleep. <laughs> I just fell asleep for two hours. It is now two hours later and I am looking at you guys and I'm talking to you and I'm admitting my wrongdoing and my mistake because I did indeed fall asleep like he said I would. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little book haul and show you guys what I got. Okay, so this first book isn't a book that I got today but it's the book that I'm currently reading to kind of get myself out of this reading slump and I think it's working a little bit. I really do. I will say because I am in this reading slump, I'm not giving it enough justice because of this reading slump. If I wasn't in it, I would be eating this up, like eating it up. And that's Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This book has been a huge thing last year, at least. It was a huge thing. So many people loved it and I've been meaning to read it. And now with my reading slump, I wanted a fantasy book. I wanted to go back to my roots, the one true love of reading fantasy so i picked this up i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying the characters i'm really enjoying the world so basically if you don't know what powerless is about it's about a girl who's living in a world where everyone has some type of like magical power and she doesn't she's what they're called ordinaries after some unfortunate events she ends up being elected or voted into this kind of game of i almost said game of thrones no Hunger Games situation where people from different cities or towns kind of nominate who they want as a contestant in these games. They don't necessarily die, like people don't necessarily have to die in these games, but for someone that is an ordinary, it's pretty likely to die. So she's nominated to be in that and now she has to try to survive. So the first book that I picked up was like an immediate pickup. I just saw it and I was like, yes, I'm buying that. The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. This is the second book in the like the housemaids duology or whatever you want to call it She got hired as a nanny her employers were really weird They were acting really weird and then she found out that her bedroom in the house Locked from the outside and it was really creepy. It was really fun It was like thrilling and like mysterious and the plot twist really was so much fun to read So I had to pick this one up I also saw that this was nominated for best like mystery thriller on Goodreads. It had a bunch of votes I think it came in second place. It didn't win but it came in second place and I was like, oh people really love this book and you know sometimes books have second book syndrome where they're not as good as the first book, but apparently people really like this, so I immediately picked this one up. I don't know what this one's about. I have an idea on how it's gonna go based on how the first one ended. The next one I picked up was a book that I actually have never heard about, and it might be silly, it might be super popular right now, but like I said earlier in this video, I have not been keeping up with anything, so don't laugh at me, but I got The Hurricane Wars a novel by Thea Guanzun? Guanzun? This sounded really intriguing to me and if I'm being completely honest with you, it's because 
Allie Hazelwood loved reading this. And then in here it says perfect for fans of Sarah J Maas and RF Kwong. It already got me there. I'm not going to read the synopsis for this because I feel like it's just gonna be way too long. But when I read it, it sounded like honestly Shadow and Bone series and maybe the world of like any other kingdom. Like so there's a kingdom, there's a prince that has the power of darkness and then there's Talison has a deadly secret. Light magic courses through her veins, a blazing power that can cut through the night and prize shadows believed to have been wiped out years ago. So it's really giving Shadow and Bones, the Darkling and um, the main character, I forgot her name. That is so sad. I feel like I read that pretty recently. It's like giving them what Shadow and Bone could not do. The next four books, yes, the next four books was because I fell into the trap of the whole buy one get one 50% off, me saving money, me making money back, you you know the whole deal. Assistant to the villain. And this is kind of like a lighthearted fiction. I don't know if it's a fantasy, but it's lighthearted. It's about exactly what the title is. You're an assistant to the villain and it's not supposed to be super gory or like intense themes, but it's supposed to be kind of satirical and funny, you know? With ailing family to support, Evie Sage's employment status isn't just important, it's vital. So when a mishap with Renadon's most infamous villain results in a job offer, naturally she says yes. No job is perfect, of course, but even less so when you develop a teeny crush on your terrifying, temperamental, and undeniably hot boss. Don't find evil so attractive, Evie. And then I picked up Fox Glove King by Hannah Whitman. <sighs> That's not her name. I'm sorry, Hannah. I don't really know what this book is about. I just know people picked it up. Uh, Allie Hazelwood, my girl Allie, also said that it's a book of your dreams and your nightmares. And I thought that was so such a good punchline. I was like, you know what? Fine, fine. This is gilded gothic and darkly romantic new epic fantasy series from the new New York Times bestselling author, Hannah Whiten. Laura has been living by her wits since she was a child, running poisons for the cartel that took her in avoiding the attention of the law and keeping her affinity for death magic a secret. Because mortem is a rare and illicit commodity and using it could mean death. When a job goes wrong, Laura suddenly finds herself thrust into a lavish court where no one can be believed and even fewer can be trusted. It's just kind of like a court mystery, dark romance mystery novel, I'm assuming. It doesn't seem like she's saving the world, but she is solving a mystery. The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. And this is another one that I've been meaning to get for a really long time. 17 year old Kiva Meriden has spent the last 10 years fighting for survival in the notorious death prison, working as a prison healer. When the rebel queen is captured, Kiva is charged with keeping the terminally ill woman alive long enough for her to undergo the trial by ordeal. A series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water, and earth assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I read that and like it went over my head. Then a coded message from Kiva's family arrives containing a single order. Don't let her die. We are coming. Aware that the trials will kill this sickly queen, Kiva risks her own life and volunteers in her place. If she succeeds, both she and the queen will be granted their freedom, but no one has ever survived. With an incurable plague sweeping Zalandov, a mysterious new inmate fighting for Kiva's heart, and a prison rebellion brewing. This is the last book that I got for the buy one get one 50% off. And I honestly, I wasn't ever really planning on getting this book because I do really like Lynn Painter and I think that she's a wonderful writer for writing better than in movies. I adore that book with my whole heart, but she's not one of those authors that like is a must buy for me. So I never really thought about buying this book until I saw that it was on sale today. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, why not? <laughs> why not? The universe is telling me to get this book because it's on sale and I, you know, to be completely honest, it's because I couldn't find another book that I really like wanted for this sale. Did I have to get this book? No. Did I need that book for 50% off portion of the buy one get one 50? Absolutely not. I could have just not gotten this fourth book. Something in my brain is wired to be like, no, you have to, you're, you're gonna lose money if you don't do that because you're gonna buy a book anyways in the future. Might as well be a book that's 50% off. Do I know what this book is about? Vaguely. I know that it's a, it's kind of like a Groundhog's Day trope where the main character is reliving the same event over and over again until something kind of snaps her out of it, I guess. The last book I got for my book haul today was Defy the Night by Bridget Kimmerer. Kimmerer. 
Kimmer to be so for real with you guys, it's because I thought the cover was so pretty. It was gorgeous. Like the, this purple with this like glow in the dark kind of font and lettering is so pretty to me and it just caught my eye. A daring outlaw, a desperate prince, and a dangerous flirtation. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says on the back and it just sounds like any other you know fantasy book where the girl is trying to save the world and then you have this really like dark brooding prince that people hate or love it's either or there's no in between and the girl always hates him it's the same thing over and over again and i eat it up every single time because it's just so i think it's comforting you know to know what's gonna happen or like to know that they're gonna just eventually love each other is somewhat comforting and sometimes you just need that nice little romance. Those are all the books that I got in today's haul. I got a total of seven books. I had a really good day. I had a fun day. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys are excited for me to come back with my videos. I'm super excited. I'm trying to plan out my filming schedule because don't, I have a little bit less time. Uh, not a little bit. I have a lot of bit less time than I usually do for filming and editing videos than I used to. So I think I'm gonna cut down to one video a week instead of two. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but I will see you in the next one. Bye.